अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट थर्मोस्फेयर हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंस और अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज और the most recent incident that took place in the month of may 2024 the auroras were witnessed in the dark region and this immediately became a headline everybody was really fascinated and so is upsc if something that is catching the attention of even the common people definitely upsc is attention it will grab and as a result upsc has the habit of asking a question out of those things so there is a possibility that a question is asked from the concept of auroras so in upcoming examination we may get a question from this particular topic that is of auroras this is something which is a phenomenon that is related to two very important factors sir so the two important factors that play a role here are the solar particles and earth's magnetic field so what happens is again earth has a magnetosphere or due to the liquid outer core there is a magnetic field that is created again a prelims concept a magnetic field is created around the earth what happens is sir this magnetic field ensures that the solar particles whenever they come closer to the earth they are not hitting the surface or they are not reaching to the surface of the earth rather they align themselves in the in a particular orientation around the earth so solar particles when they come in contact with earth's magnetic field they give a spectacular display of light which is called as auroras and this is something most closely witnessed from north pole or your south pole are we getting it sir so what happens whenever the solar ejection or solar storm basically what we call them whenever the solar storms they come closer to the earth they get aligned in with with the help of earth's magnetic field and this is what gives rise to the spectacular uh, different colored lights in the sky that happens in the layer of thermosphere and is closely witnessed from northern and southern hemisphere this is the overall concept of auroras now aurora is basically of two types you must have heard of these two terms aurora borealis that is most commonly known term but there is something uh, another term that is used here which is called as aurora australis now what is this 